dinner. <laughs> Welcome back. This week, we're gonna talk about nicknames. We're all about nicknames in my house. Miller is a nickname, Tiny is a nickname, so it only makes sense that my dogs have nicknames too. Tiny got his nickname because when he was on the inside, we didn't want to find out if he was gonna be a boy or a girl, so we just started calling him Tiny. He was the size of a poppy seed at the time, so it was very applicable. Nowadays, it's more of a tongue-in-cheek sort of thing since he's not really that tiny anymore, and I'm hoping we can keep using this nickname when he's like taller than me, which I don't think will take that long to happen. Now the dog's nicknames are a bit more involved than just arbitrarily picking a name and calling the dog that name. I'm gonna take you through the evolution of Phoenix and Falcon's nicknames, and then we're gonna see if they can answer to them. So I'm gonna start you guys with how I got my nickname so you can all see how this works in my head. My name is Camille, then it became Camiller, then it became just Mueller. And that's pretty much how it worked out. My nickname only had a couple like evolutionary stages, so it wasn't that complicated, but the dogs have a bit more. We're gonna start with Falcons because hers is a little bit easier to follow. So her name is Falcon. Then to be all cutesy, we started calling her Falcone. We would say like, oh, good girl Falcone, because it just makes it even cuter to add an E to the end of people's names. Then eventually, we started dropping the fell and she just became Coney, which was also really cute. Coney then became Cones, which is kind of cooler, and Mike and I would call each other and be like, you'll never guess what Cones did today. And then, because we couldn't just end it there, she ended up becoming Kona. You know, like the Hawaiian island. Okay, so Phoenix's nicknames are a bit more complicated because we started adding like completely unrelated words into the entire thing. It'll just be easier to show you. So obviously her name is Phoenix. Then because she's so picky and so finicky about stuff, we started calling her finicky, which I thought was so fitting. And at my first vet appointments, the vet was saying like, oh, those huskies, they can be finicky. And I was like, this is finicky. So that name kind of stuck. And to be even cuter, we'd be like, oh, that's finicky girl. We would just call her finicky girl. Cause I mean, that's pretty much what she was. She was a finicky girl. Then because I love rhyming, it became finicky swirl. Also because that's how Siberian huskies sleep. They sleep in a little swirl. So I also thought that was fitting, but just naturally it became finicky swirl. Then of course we dropped the finicky and it just became swirl. And that was a fun thing to call her. It was only one syllable. So for a while we were calling her swirl and we still call her swirl. Now Phoenix has another nickname completely unrelated to all of these. And that's because Tiny has a really hard time pronouncing the name Phoenix. So when he tries to talk about her, all he can get out is Kiki. So to him, when we say Phoenix, he says Kiki back. Who's this? Kiki. I don't know, he's a toddler. I think that's just how things work. I mean, he also calls all sandwiches in the world bagels. He's trying, or maybe he's not in the jokes on us, but now we also call her Kiki. Of course, so as not to confuse them when I'm giving them a direct command or like, you know, trying to get them to come when they're called, I use their actual names, Phoenix and Falcon. But if I'm just sitting on the couch and, you know, giving them that little like baby doggy talk and being like, oh, you're such a good girl, like I'll call them Kona, Cones, Swirl, Kiki, a barrage of nicknames, which I'm sure you guys do with your dogs, right? Like I'm not weird. Hi, Kiki. Is that our good Kiki? That got me wondering, like, I use so many names for them, do you think they get confused? Let's see if they actually answer to any of these names. Falcon. Falcone. Cones. 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 Hi. Cones. Hi. Kona. Kona. Good job. Kona. That's a good Kona. Hi. <laughs> Phoenix. Phoenix. <laughs> Not you. Phoenix. <laughs> Is your name Phoenix? Finicky. Finicky swirl. Finicky. Swirl. 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 Kiki. 
Kiki. Kiki. Kiki. Kiki treats. Dinner. <laughs> well, it looks like the verdict is Falcon will answer to all of her nicknames as well as all of Phoenix's nicknames. She needs to be a part of everything, so she just comes when anybody's called. Phoenix, on the other hand, will only answer to promises of food. I'm not saying Phoenix doesn't know what her nicknames are. I think she knows we're talking to her. I'm just saying that she doesn't even want to give us the time of day unless we're offering her something. Classic Husky. Let me know in the comments section below if your dogs have nicknames and if they answer to them or not. Also, if your dog's actual names are Kiki and Kona, that will legitimately make my day. Please let me know because that would be awesome. Phoenix and Falcon have such nice alliteration and somehow, after all the generations of nicknames, we've drilled down to Kiki and Kona, which still start with the same sound. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I post new things every Wednesday. You can tap on that little circle with my face in it to subscribe. If you want to see my last video, you can go here. And if you want to see more dog stuff, you can go down there. And now that we're at the end of this video, it's time for This is a Pillow. All right, it's been real. See you guys next week. Bye.